Hi everyone, this is Heather Mahalik with another Tip Tuesday. I want to talk you through some troubleshooting items that may be available to you if you're trying to connect your device to the UFED and it's not working. Um, when you look at these features here, make sure you're always reading the screen and it'll tell you to turn on USB debugging. One thing that I have found that works really well for me is if you go into the settings and once you put it into developer mode and you go into developer mode and you're looking where it says USB debugging, switch it off and switch it back on. But then there's also an option to revoke USB debugging authorizations. When I do that, I find that I have better success connecting to the UFED. There's also something called console mode that is pretty amazing in the UFED. And what it's going to do is it's going to tell you how it's going to go and look at the device and tell you potentially what you can get from it. So everything from the version running on that Android device to the chipset and more. You can see that it's trying to connect to the device right now. And again, if this doesn't work, do the little USB debugging trick that I just mentioned. And hopefully we will see that we'll connect here in a moment. When console mode connects, you can see here that you're getting a lot of information about the device. You can see that it's file based encrypted. You can see the battery status that it's not rooted running Android 13. So all of these things that will typically give you hints on what you can do to gain access to the device. It can also give you a hint on why things are going wrong. For example, if you're trying to get a physical extraction, you can see here that this is a file based encrypted device. So physical is not possible. You would have to go with the Qualcomm Live or the other live methods we offer in UFED. Thank <laughs> you.